what what was it about her game? Some of the points were longer that gave you a little bit of trouble. Um. Well, I didn't have, I didn't feel any trouble today, you know. <laughs> well, I knew that, yeah, I mean, even we had uh, very long points today, and, uh, and I knew what I have to do to, to win these points, you know. And um, so I think I did everything right today, and um, I was somewhere, I was aggressive, somewhere I was defensive, somewhere, somewhere I was just waiting, you know, just to, to find this, the, the point to, to be aggressive, you know. I think I, I did everything right today. Christina um, spoke about being passive and not being comfortable in, on that big stage at, at such a young age. Do you, as the person on the other side of the net, do you do you pick up on that and then try to exploit it yeah. right away? Yeah, I know. Of course, it's not it's not easy to play, you know, especially where not playing quite often, you know, in the big stage overnight session matches. And uh, well, actually, it was also a lot of people cheering for her and uh, I know how, how much pressure she had today but well I think still she did she did a good job you know and um, well, just well done for her as well I mean she was trying her best today and uh, I mean I think I, I played I played really consistent today and uh, like I said I didn't maybe I, I did some mistakes of course but without me saying this case it's, it's impossible to do also play. Did you get any sense of how to play her yesterday when you guys, you guys were against each other doubles, right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I mean, it's, um, it was good for me, you know, because before, like, she had a really good results in the American tournament, but um, I never seen her play. And uh, yesterday doubles, it helped me a lot because I, I, I saw how she's serving, how she, she's returning, and how she's playing in general. So and I was, after that match, I was quite complex. Like, confident and comfortable. I knew how to play against her. Your thoughts on either Sam Stokes or Nadi Petrova for your next opponent? Well, <laughs> I saw that they have a very tough match right now, I mean, 6-7, six, 6-7, seven, six, six, seven, and uh, I mean, I think they're both playing very good tennis right now, and um, I think they're the best for this moment. They're going to win, but I mean, I'm ready to play against Anyone. So if you want to win something, you have to beat some good players as well. <laughs> it, it seemed like during one of the changeovers that you made little, didn't feel right. Was there something going on? Yeah, I had some problem with my <laughs> right leg cramping. Oh, okay. Yeah. What kind of challenge was it for you mentally to play uh, with the crowd cheering for Christina because she's from this area? Well, I mean, of course, uh, I was ready for it, you know, I knew that there's going to be a lot of people and no people going to support her, I mean, I was, I was ready for it and uh, I think it's great, you know, it's great that the people come here, they like tennis, they're supporting the people from, uh, I mean, America and I think it's, it's great for the tennis here, for sport. When you see somebody kind of her age and her, you know, kind of just starting out and does it take you back to when you were that you know that player when you were the inexperienced younger player just starting out? Yeah, of course. I remember everything. I mean, the first tournament I played, the big one, it was the US Open. I got the wild card in qualis after when I won the junior US Open. And uh, I remember I passed the quali. I won two rounds in the main draw and I lost the third round against Mo Resma. And we played, we didn't play on this big stadium, we played on grandstand. But still, I remember this feeling how nervous I was, you know, and uh, how difficult it was to play. But still, it was a lot of, I don't know, exciting, you know, that to play on this such a good level.